Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's head over to stage two where there's four energy spheres waiting for us and wow that's a really close-up camera angle. <laughs> that's definitely would make the game harder to play because you'd have to react to things very quickly in time. Oh, I also, also forgot to mention this. Whenever you walk past like a flower or something like that it'll give you a star no matter what you do. It's I wonder if that's like a throwback to Donkey Kong Country Returns where you can like ground, well not ground pound, what do you call that hand slap thing on the floor that you can do? Ouch! <laughs> but yeah, I think you know what I'm talking about if you've played Donkey Kong Country Returns. If not, well, you're gonna be in the dark. Hey, wait, 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 is that ninja power? I don't think I showed off the ninja power yet, so I'm gonna respawn this critter. Hello, ninja! You can throw shurikens, you've got a sword, you can also latch onto things like so, and jump off them like that, throw things in midair, do all sorts of acrobatics. The ninja power up is pretty dang neat out there. It's quite powerful, it's quite swift. I don't know what that, that attack was, but it was pretty uh, dramatic there. <laughs> no, I want my ninja! Ninja, ninja, ninja. And now we're going deep in this cave. Oh, it's getting spooky. Oh, no. And, oh, we've got some more icicles to look out for. I didn't see any energy spheres on my way here, which is either a good thing or a bad thing, depending on if I, you know, missed some or not. <laughs> and that guy's helmet was pretty dang powerful. Something tells me I should switch to the fire guy anyway, so I, it probably is a good idea that I lost that. See, that was all on purpose. I, I just wanted to... You know, so was that. I just wanted to show how much life energy that cupcake will recover. And I didn't know if, you know, for sure if I was, if I would be able to show that. Because, you know, I didn't know the exact amount. That's why it was all entirely purposeful. Dang it! <laughs> I can't lie good if I keep taking hits. Oh, this is what I need the fire power up for. I need to clear the way first, probably, to make this a little bit easier on myself. Because you see that fuse there that I'm going to be lighting? Yeah, it leads to that cannon. It's as clear as it'll ever be because those little icicles will keep spawning and I'm going to have to look for them out, uh, look for them regardless. And here we go! The race is on! Man, you fall, please. Actually, this is not much of a race. I got plenty of time. Or not. <laughs> go, 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 go! Okay, we're good. Yeah, that really, really wasn't hard at all. Okay, what do we have here? We've got a switch. We've got... I probably have to, like, dash through that door or something with the fire. Yeah, that closes pretty quickly there, so... Whoa! <laughs> that was, like, the worst thing I could have possibly done there was hit that... Oh, no, now I can't... Yeah, I can't get through that without the fire power. Oh, no! Hold on a sec, please. Oh, wait, can I actually... Yeah, I can. Got a little bit worried there. <laughs> okay, I gotta backtrack a tad. And here we are again. <laughs> By the way, I believe that was the first death of the walkthrough, so that's a... Uh, oh, I didn't do the dash attack properly there. So that was uh, a fairly new thing for here. It was inevitable, though, of course. I mean, come on! <laughs> I couldn't have a perfect streak through this entire game. That would be preposterous. Well, that was the first energy sphere, so now we can move on and know that we didn't miss anything up to that point. And we could probably... Wait, do I want Water Guy over there? I probably want Water Guy... Water Guy despawned, didn't he? <laughs> Curse you, Water Guy! And there's Water Guy. Yoohoo! This is just for the future, just in case. You never know. Unless I'm gonna need the fire and that just screwed me over, I'm not sure. No, actually this looks like a water power area, so this is going to work out nicely. Because you see, like, you do those wave things to jump across the uh, gaps like so, and... Uh, okay, maybe not. <laughs> I guess it's a boot area instead. These golf boots. So... Let's hurry on up to wherever we need to go to. I'm not positive. I don't remember this much, actually. I only 100% this game once before, so... Yeah, it's a new release, so I only really had time to 100% it once. I'm gonna switch boots, see what is... Oh, there's a door. I betcha there's something good! Oh, I betcha I'm gonna have to jump up 
to... Oh, yeah. I remember that. <laughs> Wait, I would like to keep the boots and keep... It. Oh, that's very handy of you. Thank you very much, Bridge. That's a second energy sphere. And we're moving on. Uh, unfortunately, there's no bridge there. I gotta just deal with those guys. Wait, do I want rock? I probably want the rock. For the future. Whenever you see a new power, you're usually better off just going right for it and using it in a later area. Like, it's just hinting that, it, that you want to take the rock with you. I just get that feeling. Oh, it definitely wants me to have rock here, that's for sure. Woo! I gotta bowl through all the enemy. Oh boy, that's not gonna end well. <laughs> if I fall in that gap. Um, there's another Rocky. Don't need him. You can go right through spikes with the rock power up, by the way. Just don't, like, land in the spikes and then don't move. That would be uh, pretty bad because you'd, you know, pop out of your rock power eventually or you would have to. And yeah, that just wouldn't end well for you because you'd get skewered as you, oh, as you pop out of it. Uh, so I guess the rock power up was handy for that. Oh, and I guess for this, too? What does this do? It gives me fruit. Don't really need the fruit, though. Uh, oh, I sense a boss coming up since there's power-ups here. I'll take anything over rock for a boss. Rock is just not good for a boss. Anything ranged is good for a boss. Super bonkers! Oh, boy! We're gonna get a new super power with our... Whoa, whoa. Oh, he was going to throw a coconut there. Uh, yeah, there's a power-up version of the hammer as well, if you couldn't tell that, with our glowing monkey friend here. Well, he's more of a gorilla than a monkey. It's the same family, though, primates. Just like us. <laughs> yeah! And uh, I guess it's good that I lost the power there, because I'm going to be switching out anyway. For the Grand Hammer! You... It basically works like this. You can charge it up by shaking the Wii Remote to different levels, and the larger it is, the more power it has. Uh, there's actually going to be uh, puzzles involved later on with this hammer, and it's different power levels, which I'll show you once they come up, but as of right now, I'm not going to spoil it. Uh, these guys, you can only break apart when they are open up. Whoops. I was expecting... Okay, you are here. There we go. <laughs> Do I have to defeat... Oh, okay, he's just teleporting from one box to another. I thought I had to defeat them individually for some reason. And... There's another giant stake in the ground. That will not survive my actions. Oh, another box guy. These guys are actually kind of annoying in a way. Because you have to follow them around and... Yeah! Okay, made it. Always best to be like as close to the center as possible when you're dealing with an unpredictable enemy that you want to kill, because then you can react to either side or best off center, you know, whenever you need to, because you're you're always at the clo oh jeez I slipped off the edge because you're always at the closest possible spot you can be, and uh, I guess I'm gonna have to see you back at that spot because I am playing like a moron apparently today with those two deaths in the same level of all things. And here we are again, <laughs> this time with less death. Thank God! <laughs> that was just way too obnoxious of a death for me to let that go by. I couldn't let the part end on such a note, and why would I let the part end on that own note anyway? I don't know, I'm just being random. Wow, this guy is huge. <laughs> I hope this is going to be at the right angle to hit him. Oh, come on, he's ginormous. Kill this sucker! Yeah! And there's a portal. Go inside, two energy spheres await you, and the awesome black and white different dimension world of death. Here we go! Oh, there's a key. That actually could be a problem, because I can't open these doors without keys, and if I lose a key, I'm gonna get squished by the purple wall. You get the idea, and... Should I? Yeah, I can actually break that apart. And... E. I'm taking way, way too much time there. <laughs> Clearly. But I didn't want to, like, drop that key into the abyss or whatnot, because that would be catastrophic here. No more deaths, PK Gam. No more deaths, please. And this uh, level is taking quite a while, I have to say. Oh, oh no, oh no. Um, 
Uh, I was supposed to take... Yeah, I'm screwed. <laughs> Fine, just squish me. I am just playing terribly today. I did not play... I mean, I didn't plan that out good in the slightest there, because I should have used that extra um, amount, not extra amount, the critters that I had in my mouth later ahead of time to crash through that wall, but I was like, no, I'm just gonna spit it out ahead of time, just, like, just playing an idiot idi again. <laughs> yeah, this is clearly not my day, but that's okay. Anyway, I'm going to suck. There we go. That's how you're supposed to do it. Why didn't I think of that the first time? I have no idea. <laughs> and now see this block here? This is what I was supposed to say. No, wait, actually I couldn't save this, could I? Because this wall was in the way. Hmm. Oh, uh, what I was supposed to do was this. Yeah. Suck those little guys in. Why didn't I think of that the first time? What what is wrong with me today? <laughs> You're probably loving this, though. Anyway, you're just gonna blast through these suckers here with our firework balls of doom. Yeah, I know they're cannonballs, but they're obviously firework-powered. But they're colorful beauty. Um, I'd like to kill these guys off carefully so I don't get knocked back into the abyss. As you know, I can't hover when I'm holding something. What is down here? Just for the heck of it, just those two stars? That is not worth it. <laughs> Uh, this cannon's gonna break before I get to the boss, isn't it? Yeah, probably. Well, let's see if I can... Nope, it's not gonna work. <laughs> can I throw it at him? Urgh! That did work! <laughs> oh, this is the uh, lightning variety of it, or the spark variety of it, excuse me. It's not really all that different. It's still got as predictable attacks as the other guys. Uh, this guy, I mean, it's got this new attack here, but as you see, it, it pulsates that attack in predictable waves, so you're able to dodge that easily just by uh, paying attention to the rhythm, and ow. <laughs> and this one, those four balls, yeah, like, they create little lightning thunderbolt thingies. There we go. Finally, 4-2 is complete, and that took me the entire part to do. These stages are definitely getting a lot longer than they were before. So maybe I'll only have time for one stage per part, unless I really extend the length of each part. And I, I really don't like to do that. I like to keep them like 14, well, 13 to 17 minutes in length or something like that. Somewhere around there. I know every time I say that, my length changes. <laughs> But I, I, it's like, it depends on my mood, so to speak. <laughs> well, anyway, that's all I'm going to be doing in this part. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when we do 4-3. And we unlocked the bomb challenge. That is awesome. Doo -doo -doo!